what you see here is a blocks in mega menu as you see three columns with icons and content block in the fourth column if you are curious how did i do that and if you want to learn how to do it by yourself then jump in because in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do that now before we start there is a thing you need to know in order to create a mega menu with a Bloxy, you need to have a Bloxy Pro add-on installed. If you don't have a Bloxy Pro yet, then take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to it. Also, a couple of weeks ago, I did a full overview of the Pro version, and I have to say it's awesome. So, take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to this video also. So, let's start. Go to the Bloxy, open the Bloxy menu. And take a look at the extensions. Now choose Pro Extensions and activate the Advanced Menu extension. Now, in order to create the Mega Menu, go to the Appearance and Menus. What you see here is a structure. This here is a first level menu, this here is a second level, and this is third level. I'm going to create the mega menu titles from this closing music and hats. And these will be the sub items. Now open up a menu, first level menu and click on the menu item settings. Next activate the mega menu here and choose the width of the content, whether it's content width or full width. Next choose how many columns would you like to see in the menu and choose the layout here. I'm going to show four columns and all columns are 25%. That means even columns. Item labels are enabled. Links are also enabled. If I want to add the icon to this menu, I'm going to select it here. For example, this one here. I can change the icon size, alignment and the menu badge settings. So I'm going to put it right and move it above minus 10 pixels so under the design i can design the background link color and so on but i'm not going to do it therefore just save settings close it save the menu and let's see what happened so this is my shop menu with the icon and the label nb so i forgot to tell you that you can also add the label and this is the label here under the main menu badge settings, I'm going to delete it. So save it and refresh it. There you go. So now since I don't want the icon to be shown here, I'm going to delete it. I showed it just for your information that you can do that. Now save settings and let's go to the next level. This one here also again, menu item settings. Here I can choose a content type, it's going to be the menu item. And since I want it to be a heading, I'm going to choose that it's heading. And if I want to disable the link, I can deactivate it, but I'm going to leave it as activated. And once again, I can add the icon here. For example, home. Save settings. Close it. I'm going to leave those three as they are, but also you can change the menu item settings here. Next one. Once more, it's going to be a heading and it's going to have an icon, for example, dashboard. And save. Third one, category. Once again, it's going to be a heading and I'm going to add the icon, for example, this one here. It does not have any sub items. I'm going to just add something here. Save it and let's take a look. There you go. We have three columns. Those are the headings with the icons. Now, as you see, the shop has a green menu badge here. I have to deactivate it. So I'm going to open up the shop menu and menu badge deactivate it. Save it. Save the menu, refresh. And there is no badge. 
So we have three columns and fourth column is empty. Let's add some kind of uh, Gothenburg block the, over there. So I'm going to go to the block, see content blocks, add new menu block, create template. And in order to keep the tutorial short, I'm going to just add some random block here. For example, info box. I'm using the Cadence Blocks plugin, but you can use whatever Gothenburg or Elementor page builder you, widget you would like to use. So, so we are open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For example, I can customize it as I like. For example, the title here it's too big at the moment and font weight i'm gonna change it okay update now let's go back to the appearance and menus and i'm gonna add another menu here this time it's gonna be a content block a menu block add to menu I'm going to drag it here, menu item settings, content type, content block, menu block, item label disabled, link disabled, and save it. And save the menu also. Refresh. And there you go. Doesn't look any good. Therefore, I go to the menu settings, open it up, and instead of four equal columns, I'm going to choose that the uh, last column is a bit bigger. I'm going to save it, save here, now refresh the page, and it looks much better. Also, I can tweak the content block itself here, but as I told you, in order to keep the tutorial short, I'm not going to do it. It's just an overview for you how you can add the content blocks to the mega menu. And there it is, mega menu with a content block inside it. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then please subscribe to the channel, press thumbs up, and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials.